Hey everyone, John here from testprepinsight.com, and today I'm going to be covering the major reasons why you should use Kaplan to help you prepare for the GMAT, and the major reasons why you should not. That way you have a balanced, unbiased view of the Kaplan prep materials. And just so you know, I scored a 700 on the GMAT a few years ago, earned my master's, and since then, I've had a chance to get under the hood of this Kaplan GMAT course and really test out and evaluate all of its different study materials, like video lessons, live classes, prep books, online dashboard, and everything else. So I think if you keep an open mind, this video should give you everything you need to make an informed purchase decision. Now if you're ready, let's get to it! Alright, let's get right to it. So I should probably mention that since I'll just be focusing on the major pros and cons in this video here today, if you feel like you need some more information or detail at any point, there's a couple easy options for you. First, I'll have a link down below in the description over to Kaplan's website where you can check out this GMAT prep course for yourself. And I'll also have a link down there over to our website where we have a full detailed written review of this Kaplan GMAT prep course. Or better yet, you can always just Google Test Prep Insight Kaplan GMAT Review. That's a great way to get there too. All right, so the first aspect of the Kaplan GMAT prep course that I really like is the overall depth of the study materials provided by Kaplan. I mean, just the video lessons and practice problems alone total more than 140 hours of work. And that doesn't even include the material in the prep books or the live classes, which I'll get to in more detail here in a minute. But the bottom line here is that Kaplan goes above and beyond in terms of resources. Even studying 40 plus hours per week, it would take weeks to complete all the Kaplan coursework. So overall, I was just blown away with the sheer quantity of prep materials. Okay, let's move on to the next reason in favor of Kaplan. But before I do, make sure you subscribe to our channel, like this video, and drop us a quick comment below. That'd really be appreciated. We're the only test prep company out here that gives you this much detail and provides this kind of analysis, so any support you can show us really goes a long ways. All right, so the second pro on my list today is all about the Kaplan course structure, which is broken out across the four sections of the GMAT. And then within each section, there are modules for every overarching GMAT topic, such as algebra, sentence correction, and geometry. These modules are then broken down further into individual lessons on subtopics, such as systems of equations, verb errors, and triangles. Basically, it's your classic drill down structure. But taking a step back from the topic level, each module follows the same general structure. Before class, class session, after class. The before class portion of the module is a quick primer video, usually right around 10 minutes in length, that previews what you can expect to learn in the coming lesson. Think of this as a quick refresher from your undergrad and high school classes. Then the lesson itself takes place in the class session section of the module. This consists of a series of super high quality video based lessons, each covering a subtopic. The video instruction is delivered in the form of a digital whiteboard that constantly updates with new content, notes, and graphics. And more often than not, your instructor will appear on screen before the whiteboard and make notes on the screen between you and them in an invisible plane of glass in neon blue ink, which really makes for a cool visual and personally, I found it to be super effective in terms of material retention. Then finally, in the after class section, you're given a quick five to 10 question quiz to test what you just learned in the lesson. And this really helps hammer home the material. And then after the quiz, you're usually given some wrap up reading to do in your prep book or from a downloadable PDF. So all in all, from beginning to end, I was just impressed with Kaplan's learn it, drill it course structure and found it to be pretty effective. All right, so reason number three in favor of Kaplan is all about the practice material. And this is sort of split out into two different buckets. On the one side, you have the practice questions, and in the other, you have the practice tests. So starting with the practice questions, this is really driven by Kaplan's QBank, which allows you to create custom quizzes based on topic, question type, and difficulty. And you can even set timing requirements to help you practice pacing. It's just a really nifty tool to help you zero in on your weaknesses. And then accompanying each question in the QBank is a written problem explanation which breaks down the problem, analyzing the aspects that make it difficult, and explaining why each answer choice is correct or incorrect. And then moving on to the practice tests, which is always one of the most important categories when evaluating a prep course. And luckily, Kaplan delivers here in terms of both quantity and quality. So in total, they provide nine full-length computer adaptive tests. For context, this is more than you get with Prep Scholar, Magoosh, or Manhattan Prep. But moving past the quantity, Kaplan also offers some of the highest quality practice exams around. Their practice test questions replicate real GMAT questions in an impressive fashion. It's clear that their GMAT experts have spent hundreds of hours fine tuning the material on their practice exams. And the test taking software on Kaplan's digital platform is a dead ringer for the official GMAT to give you a true test day experience. 
And speaking of real test day experiences, this is one of the most unique aspects of the Kaplan GMAT course. They actually offer an official test day experience pass, which allows Kaplan GMAT students to take one of the nine GMAT practice exams at a real Pearson View test center, which is awesome. This gives you the ability to practice like it's game day. Let's face it, simulating exam-like conditions is critical for effective practice, and there's no better way than in an actual test center. All right, so moving on to reason number four, and this is all about the Kaplan GMAT prep books. So with the purchase of any GMAT package, Kaplan's gonna ship you a couple hard copy prep books, which generally track with and supplement the core curriculum, whether you're taking the live online or on-demand course. These books contain content instructions, strategies, and practice problems. And personally, I'm a big fan. The books are detailed, well-written, and to the point. I just plain like the old school prep workbooks. Maybe I'm biased because I'm a little older, but I just like dog-earing pages, highlighting key concepts, and taking notes. Now, whether I return to these notes later is questionable, but it helps me with material retention, so I appreciate the print books. So if you're like me, I think you'll find the Kaplan prep books to be a very big value here. Okay, so the last reason in favor of Kaplan is all about their live GMAT classes. So they have two different course options to choose from, a live online class and an in-person class. I personally audited one of the live online courses and was really impressed. I liked the structure, the lessons were solid, and I found the instructor to be very knowledgeable. The classes are attended once or twice per week in three hour blocks, and students participate through chat and video. Overall, I thought Kaplan did a pretty good job with their live online format, and overall, it's pretty comparable to Princeton Review. The in-person course, on the other hand, is conducted in partnership with Manhattan Prep. Kaplan essentially outsources all of its in-person sessions to its affiliate, Manhattan. And while I'm partial to live online classes, I think that for students who need that face-to-face -face instruction and peer interaction, the Manhattan Live GMAT classes are some of the best around. You also get nine additional class hours with the in-person course, and the classes have more of a workshop than lecture feel. But with that said, the Manhattan Prep slash Kaplan combo course is more expensive, and for some students, the in-person class might not even be an option if you don't live near a city with classes. But again, these classes rate out very well if you need that in-person class structure and commitment. All right. Now that we've covered the reasons in favor of Kaplan, let's get to some of the downsides here. And the first that comes to mind has to be price. Kaplan offers three different prep packages. Their self-paced course, which goes for around $600, their live online course, which costs around $1,250, and lastly, their in-person course in partnership with Manhattan Prep, which is even more expensive. So from a broad view, Kaplan is definitely not the most affordable prep option out there. Test prep providers like Magoosh and Prep Scholar are cheaper. I'll link a reviews of both of those courses down below in the description if Kaplan is too expensive for you. But to be fair, Kaplan is actually more affordable than their primary competitors, Princeton Review and Manhattan Prep. So at the end of the day, Kaplan sort of lands in the middle in terms of pricing. Plus, they often offer discounts and special promotions. So make sure to check out the description for those. Myself and the rest of the team here will do our best to update that text below the video screen with any discount codes or coupons that might be floating around on the internet to help save you some cash on this Kaplan GMAT course. I think in most cases you can expect to save up to $300. All right, so the second downside with Kaplan is all about their problem explanations. And while I mentioned earlier that I think the answer explanations Kaplan provides for each practice problem are helpful, they're just not as detailed as those offered by other test prep companies. Don't get me wrong. They're clear and they do get the job done, but I would just like a little more detail in some instances or maybe even some video explanations like those offered by Magoosh. I think in today's modern times, most students prefer video over reading text, so this is one area where Kaplan could improve. Okay, so the next aspect of the Kaplan course that is a little lacking is the user experience of their online digital platform. And I know I might be nitpicking at this point, but the load speed of the custom quizzes through the QBank was a little slow. Sometimes it took four or five seconds for the quiz to actually load. And I know that doesn't sound like much, but in today's day and age, it feels like an eternity and it is a little annoying. I also was not a big fan that every lesson, quiz, and other resource pops up into a new browser tab. So essentially by the time you're done with the study session, you have like 30 tabs open, which again, can become a little annoying. So I know these are small gripes, but I thought I would mention it. All right, that about wraps up this video. So let's take one last look at the pros and cons side by side to help sort of put things in perspective. And I should also mention, since you're studying for the GMAT, every single month we give away a free prep course to one of our subscribers just to help them prep and say thank you. 
If you want your chance to win a free prep course, there's just three simple things you need to do. I'll toss those up on the screen right here, and I'll also have all the detail down below in the description. It's really easy. It takes less than 30 seconds to enter, and you have a chance to win a free prep course and save yourself some serious cash here. Okay, as for the pros, you've got number one, just the overall depth of prep materials that Kaplan provides. It's truly staggering. Number two, I really like the Kaplan course structure. I found it to be quite effective for material retention. Number three, realistic, high quality practice questions and simulated exams. Number four, top notch prep books. And number five, rock solid live classes, both online and in person. All right, switching gears. As for the cons, you've got number one, the fact that Kaplan is a little on the expensive side, but luckily they do offer discounts, so make sure to check out the description for those. Number two, I wish the answer explanations to the practice questions were a little more detailed or came in video form. And number three, there were a few minor issues I had with the user experience of the Kaplan digital platform. But all in all, after thoroughly testing the Kaplan GMAT prep course, I have to say that I was really impressed. I think they offer one of the most robust prep courses in the industry in terms of both quantity of study materials and quality. And sure, maybe they're not the most affordable course out there, but I think Kaplan will ultimately do a great job prepping you to score a 700 plus. I know if I was dialing back the clock, I would have no issue going with Kaplan for my own GMAT prep. And that's all I have for you today. I hope this video review has been helpful and you learned a little something. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping us a quick comment below. That'd really be appreciated. And if you wanna learn more about the GMAT, or again, see that full detailed written review of the Kaplan GMAT course, jump on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, where we have a ton of great content on everything GMAT. As always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and we'll see you in the next one.